We begin tonight with people representing themselves in Bridgeport courts, a growing trend as defendants ditch the lawyer and take up their own cases. News 12, 12 Connecticut's Frank Recchia speaks with people on why they made that decision. Quite stressful and it's still stressful because my family, I had to leave Bridgeport, Connecticut because I didn't trust what the other citizens might have done to me based on my name being involved in their report. 57 year old Timelyn Dunbar of Bridgeport says she was wrongfully arrested in 2016 on drug charges and has been fighting ever since to clear her record of the subsequent felony conviction handed down in Bridgeport Superior Court. Several of my liberties were infringed on. On the basis of what she calls a double jeopardy Fifth Amendment violation, Timelin has been battling for years as a pro se litigant, meaning she's been representing herself in court without help from a lawyer in hopes of shining a light on the case and getting her conviction thrown out in the process. Timbalyn uh, Dunbar is a great example of someone who has attempted valiantly um, to uh, take advantage of self-representation. Bridgeport attorney Mark Ahrens says a growing number of people just like Timlin are choosing to exercise the right of self-representation, which he says is a unique feature of the American criminal justice system, as opposed to the British model it evolved from. The system that we revolted from is not known for fairness and equal access to the courts. One of the hallmarks of our democracy which separates us from a, a great portion of the world is the fact that anyone uh, can get access to a court of law. But Aaron says walking into a courthouse alone as a pro se litigant can be a difficult experience fraught with challenges. Most important, he says, is knowing the technical points of law you're using to defend yourself as well as understanding and respecting courtroom decorum. It's very tricky. And it's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. I have to get, come in and get my own documents. But Timlin says one thing she has never been accused of is being faint of heart. The U.S. Army Reserve veteran telling us because she's encountered everything from police and judicial misconduct to systemic racism, she will not stop until she gets justice. The racism, man, it's hard. I don't see, we can protest all we want. And it's like getting us nowhere. I mean, we have to start doing things like filing lawsuits against the state of Connecticut, letting them know we're going to stand strong and we're going to fight them. The federal government has a role to play in helping these pro se litigants who often have serious claims but can't vindicate them without more professional aid. Senator Richard Blumenthal says he's pushing for more federal dollars to assist pro se litigants through legal aid. This Painting. Aaron's meantime says people should know the history behind self-representation, which he says is a distinctly American practice. Regardless of the outcome, Timelin vowing to see her fight through, a fight she says she's been waging alone in the spirit of that tradition for years. All by myself. In Bridgeport, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut.